Bonjour à tous. Hello everyone. Hope you all are well. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the firmware version 4.7 for the Bebop 2. Because there are no update text or information in the change log to what the update did, I won't be doing any specific test. I will just be doing a full flight and trying out all the normal features, magic dronies, follow me, a complete flight from 100% to 1% until emergency landing. The first test we're going to do is the takeoff and hover, and this is simply pressing the launch button and the drone will take off and just hover there for a moment. This is to see if the drone is swaying a lot, bouncing a lot, and uh, doing any sort of funny stuff that it shouldn't be doing. So as we can see, uh, 4.7 takeoff and hover, absolutely no problems. The next thing we will do is some basic flying and raising the altitude higher than 6 meters, anything above 6 meters, and it doesn't use the downward facing camera for positioning and the ultrasonic sensor. It then relies on GPS above that altitude. So we do this just to see if um, there is any problems with the update and the IMU at this altitude. And as we can see that there is absolutely no problems uh, flying above the altitude which requires you to use the downward sensors. Now that all the flight controls are normal, we can test follow me. And in follow me, I use the cameraman to mask that green square around me. Then I tap on follow and it registers the GPS and the barometer on the device that I have. So now I'm going to test the active track mode with follow me to see if it keeps me in frame. And yes, I'm going to do a run. Not recommended though, with a backpack that is fully packed with camera equipment. While we're still in GPS follow me mode, I'm going to use the joystick to control the drone to do an orbit around me while it is still tracking me. And as you can see that the active track or the cameraman with GPS follow me is still accurate and it keeps me in the middle of the frame. A small tip I'd like to share with you is with follow me and cameraman, when the box has dotted lines around it, that means that it can no longer visually track you and it will start looking for something else, for example, a car and it'll start tracking that. So be wary about your distance of the drone uh, relative to you. It's not a big problem. You simply draw a mask around you or you just tap the screen around you and it'll search for something that's there and then lock onto it again. Also, please note that when you deactivate Follow Me, the place which you deactivated will now be a new home point. The next thing we're going to try are the magic dronies and we will see if this has any problems with the new update or everything's okay. Something else I'd like to share with you is I set my height limit to 30 meters. So using any of these features, as soon as I got to 30, it started uh, going red, prompting me that I've exceeded my maximum limit. And it also disables any of the automatic flight functions until you descend lower than your set maximum altitude. Now that we know that all the functions work right up to this point, including Magic Dronies, we will try the return to home and see if there are any problems with the firmware 4.7 and the return to home function. We're activating return to home and it will return to the home point, which was where we deactivated follow me. So remember that when you deactivate follow me, 
the location where you deactivated follow me will be the new home point. The drone has reached its home point and is now descending. There's a bit of shake there because it's descending in its own wake, so that is normal. Now that we have tested all of those normal functions, which every user would use in a normal flight, we will do some manual flying around the place just to drain out the battery. And this will last a couple minutes until the battery um, gets low enough for it to do an emergency landing. Now, I did not land the drone and the drone landed itself. Now that I've completed all the basic flight test functions and features of the application, I can tell you that there's no problems that I can see with firmware 4.7 up until the last point where the drone automatically lands itself. I hope this video has been helpful and has given you some insight as to the functionality of version 4.7 for the Bebop 2. Before I go, I just want to show you that uh, there's something also interesting that I found out was if you hold the joystick down, the drone will actually land without pressing the land button. Here, let me show you. Very cool. So I hope Parrot includes some of these new features and functionalities to our old Bebop 2s with the shipping of Free Flight Pro 6. Well, hopefully it works with the Bebop 2s. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.